Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Take Two, Mark at Discover Your Home. Thank you again for joining me here on this awesome Thursday night uh, going into the Memorial uh, Day weekend. And tonight I want to talk to you guys a little bit about when we're on a remodeling project and we're in your home, I, I get a lot of customers that get this kind of overwhelming guilt maybe that uh, they have these you know, cabinets that are taken out or countertops and stuff and they want to do something with them instead of just you know, tossing them in a dumpster. So I want to talk to you a little bit tonight about some ways to um, maybe donate or resell or uh, maybe even eventually repurpose in another part of your home. So, uh, so I get asked quite a bit. In fact, we were just doing a project not uh, not too long ago, and we had to uh, um, dispose of some cabinets and stuff. So I had a couple. Actually, I had a couple people who wanted to come and grab some of the stuff because the homeowner was, you know, it's a shame we, we you know we got to throw these things out. Is there something we can do? So here's a couple things that I recommend to. Um, my customers and you do-it-yourselfers out there that uh, might be able to assist you in what you can do. Uh, the number one place I like to, to, to um, let's just say donate would be a company called Restore. I don't know if it's in your community. We have a couple located in the Chicagoland area here. Um, it is ran, I believe, by a division of Habitat for Humanity, and they take old cabinets, uh, countertops, sinks. Um, for example, we ordered the wrong door, had it stored at my shop for a number of years, and they took it. So uh, there's a little bit of a process there. Um, you can, you probably have to take pictures and send it to them, and they'll kind of, you know, decide on whether they'll take it or not. Uh, but I think it's a great place. Um, that you know, hey, they're taking it and they're using the money to um, uh, build homes uh, for people less fortunate, and um, so I think it's a good thing. It's a win-win situation. So uh, that's the first place I always recommend is Restore if it's in your neighborhood. Um, and that I mean, they let's see, I'm give cabinets, uh, appliances, used appliances, used plumbing fixtures. Uh, windows uh, there again maybe you ordered the wrong door like we did on one project and we just had it sitting around so they took it uh, they give you some sort of tax benefit thing I'm not quite sure ask your accountant check into that that's not my thing but uh, I'm of the school that you know if I've got something uh, that's sitting around and it's not of use you know I'd rather see somebody make use of it and uh, not only is it for good use but uh, it, hey it makes you feel good too that certainly is uh, not a, not a bad thing so um, what could you also do? You could resell. There's some apps out there. You can put it on, and I don't know off the top of my head. I just I drawing a blank, but um, there are some apps out there that you can load into your phone, and you can uh, put it online, have a picture, and communicate directly with you. There's also Craigslist. Um, you know, it really gets back to if you decide you want people to come into your home. Uh, to take these things. Um, a lot of times when we have a, uh, a dumpster or a bagster on a project, um, what we'll do is we'll set, uh, for the scrappers out there, you'll find a lot of uh, 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 guys out in the neighborhood that are, that are picking up scrap metals. Um, so just recently we took a cast iron tub out of a project and I didn't even set it in the dumpster. I set it at the curb the night before uh, trash day and it's amazing how quickly um, it disappeared. So um, that's one, that's another area you can get rid of say an old tub or any sort of metal, you know, uh, metal sinks, uh, anything that's metal, you'll find that a lot of scrappers will come by uh, and will either set it at the end of the dumpster or outside the dumpster. So, hey, they can make use of it. Uh, let's see, so what's some other places? Hey, families, you know, um, you got kids, you know, they bought their first home, they need a little extra, you know, cabinet space maybe in the garage. Uh, or being able to, you know, put it in their basement, you know, because a lot of times when we're taking out cabinets, it's not that they're bad, it's just that people are kind of tired of, of what they have and they want something new. So uh, let's go ahead and get it out, outside the house or you can repurpose it for yourself and maybe relocate it in another area of your home. Um, let's see. 
do it yourselfers, landlords, uh, remodels, interior designers. You'd be surprised on who might want your extra stuff. They, you know, I've seen um, uh, interior designers take cabinets off a job. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I've seen them take them and uh, you know paint, repaint cabinets where they they dress them up and and give them an antique look. So there's a lot of different ways to take. Uh, you know, as they say, uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure, uh, and make uh, make something useful out of it. Something instead of going into a landfill, uh, you know, it it it, it uh, eases our conscience, and it's better for you know not having this you know extra stuff tossed in a landfill. Um, you know, it's going to help your community. You're going to maybe get a little tax write off or tax break, or I'm not sure what that is. Um, let's see, what else we talk about? Um, and you're just helping other people. Uh, the negatives, though, uh, if you're going to have a downside to this, it really gets back to, well, if you're going to take stuff out, say, in a, in a kitchen, you're going to have to handle it a little more gently. Um, you're going to find that uh, it might cost you a little bit more for your contractor to take it out so he doesn't you know, beat it up or whatever. But we generally, when we're on a project, uh, we're not usually running through there with a sledgehammer. Uh, we're usually just taking things out in, in, in pieces and, you know, usually just setting in a dumpster or setting in the garage, depending upon if the homeowner would like to repurpose it or, or give it away to someone else. So there's a lot of different avenues that are out there. There's a lot of charitable organizations that will take it. You just have to communicate with them what you have. You might end up having to uh, send them some pictures. It might be a little bit of a headache, but that's okay. It's very good that you know you're doing something positive I really believe that it you know you take it and somebody can use it because it really is a shame because we we walk into homes and we're taking countertops out are you know 15 20 years old that are that were granite countertops and they can be repurposed for something the sinks can be repurposed or or somebody can use them for something that's in a positive manner so let me see if there's anything else I want to ch chat with you about um, if you're going to sell on like eBay or Craigslist, you know, it's great exposure to sell your stuff. You got to take photos, you got to post it online. Downside is you're going to probably have to store it. You're going to have to have people come over, you know, maybe they're not buying it the first time, but it might be a good way to go ahead and um, get it in somebody's hands. Or, hey, when garage sale time comes around, put them out there. You'd be surprised on um, maybe one of your neighbors owns a couple rental properties you'd be surprised on what they might use for the cabinets or their little getaway home in northern wisconsin or northern michigan and use it in their sheds or in their garages because a lot of times um you know people will repurpose them and use say cabinets from their kitchen and move them into other areas of of their home so hopefully this can help you out tonight to kind of get you down the path of you know easing our conscience and being able to do something really good for uh for ourselves for our communities and hey for for the planet so uh i want to thank you again for joining me and my name is Mark. I'm over here at Discover Your Home. I also, hey Bev, how are you? Thanks for coming in late. I'm just wrapping up here tonight, but uh, I just want to, um, I just want to say everybody have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we are blessed to be Americans, and we are blessed to live in the best country in the world. So if you get a chance, make sure you go and shake the hand of a young service man or young service woman or or vet. Uh, anybody that's served our country because um, they uh, they fight for for us and uh, and we're blessed to be here and we're blessed to have them uh, as our uh, our neighbors so you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend and we'll talk to you next week thanks again for joining me good night <laughs>